and welcome back. It's second semester 2016, a brand new year. Uh, we're excited to have you back for your next in edition of Freshman 101. I'm Miss Jonasy. This is Coach Maury. And we are so excited to have you back. Couple of things, uh, your report cards. Yeah, a couple of things. Did okay. you guys tell about the show? The show. What about the okay. show? Did you tell about the show? Um, thanks, Coach Fresh. We're not quite there yet. We have a couple of things to talk the about. Shows, just, the give shows. Us just, just one second. The shows. We'll, we'll get just one second. Okay. So now you've gotten your report cards, and hopefully you're setting some goals for second semester. Some things that you want to see working uh, working towards for your academics. Um, also, you want to be preparing for sophomore year. Like getting and speaking of preparing, don't forget uh, the variety show is tomorrow night, 7 o'clock, 20 acts. The show, tomorrow night, 7 o'clock, the show. Please come to the show. The show variety show. Thank tomorrow. you. Okay. Thank you so much. So, yeah, there's a lot going on, like I said, in preparing for sophomore year. And you know what, Mr. Rory, you know, we can be involved in things, right? We can work on things. Clubs, athletics. Uh, Many things to do. And Band. the clubs, yeah, the Lambert, uh, also the, the dance company. The Lambert, oh, the dance yes. company's got a show coming up. It's going to be awesome. It's in early February. Like, we're going to finish just a minute more. The we're dance company's got okay, a show in February, we're gonna too. We're going to get you all set about the shows. So um, what I was trying to talk to you about was kind of, you know, it, it's fun to go to meetings, but as a sophomore, we're really starting to get kids taking on, like, more of a leadership role. Yeah. Don't it's you think that's It's a great time important? to take on a leadership role and find your place in your club and really step up. And That's right. And yeah. speaking of stepping up, okay. the prom fashion show is coming. They're going to be stepping down the runways. They're going to be looking great. We got a variety show. Yeah. We got the dance company. We so, got. The, I can't. I'm so excited. I, I know you are so I excited. Go ready. And listen, Tomorrow guys, night, we're going to tell you all, all about it. Yeah, thank you I'm both. Okay, yeah, okay. bye. Okay. So we're going to tell you all about that at this week's show. We're going to talk to you a little bit about getting involved. You know, remembering that the clubs that you started going to in the fall, hey, they're still meeting. You should be at those meetings as well. And as you're starting to look towards your sophomore year, let's get involved in taking on those leadership roles. Let's make sure that we're making clubs on campus what we need them to be and continuing to grow. But more importantly, let's make sure that you're hanging out on campus this year for some of the great events. We're going to tell you all about them in this week's show. I sure hope Mr. Bass is practicing his act. Well, I don't know that I, I don't know. Last year, well, you know what happened. With that excitement, it better be good. Doesn't she look lovely? She looks fabulous. Look the spin. It's just, in fact, the spin. The spin, yeah. shall we? The spin. It's all about the spin and, oh, hey, welcome freshmen. Welcome, everyone. Mr. We're, Bass here. Miss Jonasy, welcome back. We're taking a look at these uh, these fashion models back here. I mean, obviously, this is graduation that we're no, looking. I'm sorry, sir. I hate to interrupt you, but no, that's actually the prom fashion show. Yes, that's the not graduation. I have heard about the prom fashion show. I mean, just uh, it's, uh, look, look at these gowns right here. I mean, look stunning. at this man. Look at the moves on this man right here. That is stunning. Can you talk about how he breaks it down? He is, in fact, breaking it down. It's, yes. it's fabulous. So, okay, so we've got this prom fashion show coming up. Freshman, you need to attend. Um, I think it's what, $12 to $15? Actually, for... no, uh, this is a, a bargain price of about $7, maybe $8. We're not really sure, but you know who would know? Miss yeah. Toothill in 1611, or one of the beautiful models who've been selected for this year's runway version. And I think that you can find them because they wear like six or eight inch heels. I think they borrowed them. They borrowed them for yes, me. Absolutely. And um, yes. you see the last one last year took place in Great Britain. So I see the flag there. We've got the, uh, but obviously there's the bobbies. You, bobbies, you know, the bobbies with the hat. So we shot this thing. The whole thing took place in Europe. Yes, uh, for the bargain price of between seven and eight dollars. No, I don't believe they actually went to Europe, although the theme was around the world and they did start off in England. Um, however, you can get there very conveniently in our school's By auditorium. Flight? No, sir. You, you just walk. Maybe your mom drops you off. I don't, but you want to go to the auditorium. Yeah. The LHS auditorium. So we're going to host this thing, um, what, four or five nights in a few months over the summer? Unfortunately, it's not as many nights as you would hope. It's only one night. It is going to be Friday, February 5th, but there are two shows so two shows? you can stay after school. midnight show no so, no, no no you're gonna have to show. you can just stay hang show. out for a little bit about 5 30 is the first show or you can sit you know go home take a little nap come back eight o'clock is the second show so let me get this straight so for seven dollars I can go buy a ticket from Toot Hill or Mathis in the 1600 Hall or one of our amazing models I can see the prom fashion show in the LH auditorium on February 5th. That's correct. And yes. you probably won't be in Great Britain. You probably won't see these bobbies. Instead, you will see this, a little of this, because this, these are the Scruggs brothers. Look how good they look. They break it down. You see this right here? I might be out there doing the same thing. Look, look at this. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Would you not want to attend the prom fashion show? Not only would you want to attend, but how about, you know, benefiting a great cause? You know, last year the show alone raised over $2,000 to the Juvenile Diabetes Research Center. $2,000. $2,000. And this year, with your help, freshmen, community members, anyone who plans to attend, I think we could do better because it's a really near and dear cause this year. We have the Wounded Warrior Project. So That's phenomenal. I think it's that great. That is great. Yeah. Well, you can be there. It's on the 5th. Don't miss out. And that's right. Prom Fashion Show, we will be breaking it down just like that. He won't be breaking it down, so just come on out. It's going to be great. And we're going to spin now and watch, so yeah. we'll see you all there on the 5th. Goodbye. Bye, everybody. So yes. we've got some, you know, shows to we do. we got a lot of good stuff to do. Coming up. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey. 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 how are y'all doing? Great. How are you? Awesome, good. awesome. How's freshman year going? It's going good. It's going great. Hard, a little hard, a little yeah. struggle, right? Yeah. Okay. Big adjustment. That's okay. good. That's good. good. Now, you all got plugged in, right? Everybody's got yes. clubs. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. good. Plenty of clubs. Yeah. yeah. Lots of clubs. Okay. So, yeah. a lot of time that you're spending in your clubs and organizations. Oh, yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's great. That's all right. Great. Are you looking to maybe think about what your next step might be? Yeah. yeah. You know, I'm wondering, like, now that I'm plugged in, I really want to take a leadership position. So, who can I talk to? Who, who should she talk to? There's about? only one person you really want to get the lowdown from, and that is, of course, Dr. Davison. Let's go talk to Dr. Yeah, D. Yeah. Come on, everybody, let's proceed. Oh, oh, thank you, sir. You're I welcome. Appreciate it. Okay. Hey, Dr. Davison. Hey, Dr. Davison. Good morning. Thanks so much for making some time for us Absolutely. in your busy day. Uh, we are working on our freshman show for okay. for this month, and one of the things we had talked about and ladies brought up is, you know, we want kids to get plugged in. We want right. them to be involved, and now that they've kind of gotten their feet under them, they know what's going on, now it's time to start talking about how are they going to lead these organizations, right. and these two wonderful freshman ladies hey, have guys. great Hi. questions for you Excellent. about some things you might be he might be an expert on. Oh, he is. An I, I think he's an expert. Absolutely. Expert. Okay, excellent. Yes, okay, yes, So, ladies. I'm going to ask the first question. Okay. What does Lambert hope to see from freshmen in terms of leadership? Well, I think one thing I would say is uh, maintaining a legacy of success. We have a lot of successful organizations here at Lambert. Uh, many of our clubs have done very well uh, locally, uh, at the state level, the national level, even internationally. Um, and just helping to be a part of maintaining the success of that, being, being uh, a, a very good piece in the team. Um, you, not any one student has to carry everything, but being a very good piece in the wheel that makes all the success happen. I think um, sustaining that, that organizational success is very important, but I think as we grow into new clubs, uh, new needs here at school and student needs. It's creating those new clubs that really haven't even been established here yet. Looking, having some vision on what is next for for success here and helping kids be successful at the next level. Wow. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Great. So, where are we ready? Are we ready yeah, to go? We talk. It's not your turn. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm just, I'm sorry, guys. I just, I'm just getting so excited about this show. <laughs> it's okay. I'm sorry, Dr. I have the next question. Yes, ma'am. It is, what advice would you give freshmen at Lambert to become good leaders? Well, that's an excellent question. I think um, uh, great successful characteristics would be being able to communicate effectively. Um, being able to communicate is a two-way street. It's not only how well you can speak to someone, how well you can write to be, to be understood, but it's also listening to someone, knowing that they're communicating to you and not just waiting to get your answer in, but listening to be under, understand what someone else is saying and really trying to understand their point of view. Great leaders can see things from two sides, not just their own side. Um, I think a great leader in today's world um, has the diligence to work hard and to really be able to stick with a task until it's done and, and to, until it's through. And I think a great leadership skill that a lot of our kids, if we if we showed this at the highest level, it would really separate them as a tremendous leader, would be the, the ability to um, deal with something difficult, uh, understand that failure is not going to devastate them and is not permanent. Anything is temporary and if you have a struggle or a setback, it, not to take it personally and to realize that struggle is a part of success. That you can't be great at something if you don't struggle at it first. 
struggle is a part of learning. Struggle is a part of growth. And I see a lot of people in the world today that they become defeated by struggle, defeated by failure. And truly, if they were to take that and learn from that and look at why did I struggle and turn that around, that's where great leaders are born. And I think if they're able to do that and, and not take it personally and just look at it as, okay, I can, I can overcome this, but how do I overcome it? That's a leadership characteristic that today will separate people into great leaders. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome, answer. guys. You're welcome, <laughs> guys. Wow. Dr. D, thank you. I yes, think sir. we need to move on because we have other stops. We got to get going. Today, sir. We're on the, on the leadership trail, but while we're gone, we want you to take a look at this promo. Oh, man, that was great. That was, good. That was awesome. Very nice. Man. Yeah, it reminds me of when I was in high school. In fact, all these great shows. Let me tell you something drama, singing, and dancing. I was all a part of that, man. Speaking of drama and dancing, we actually have the Variety Show coming up as well as the Lambert Dance Company performance coming up. That's true. Very Please true. Please come out and support them. Very true. Did you used to dance? Actually, I'm going to tell you about this one story. One time when I was in high school, I was just standing there. This very nice young lady, she came up to me. I was just standing there, like talking to somebody. She took my arm. I don't know how it happened. We took the floor, and she said... Oh, don't you dare look. you dare look back, just keep your eyes on me, I said you're holding back, she said shut up and dance with me, this woman is my destiny, she said ooh, ooh shut up and dance with me, don't you dare look back, just keep your eyes on me, I said you're holding back, she said shut up. Wow, that was impressive. That was impressive. It really was. So uh, it was, there's some special people that know how to sing and dance in this building. Students, you can be a part of this and watch this at the uh, end of the month this month. Come on out and see the show. We'll see you there. Welcome. Come in. Yeah. Come in. Charcy, what are you doing here? Well, hi, Olivia. Yeah, I'm just being principal for a moment. You know, giving it a shot, trying out a new leadership role. Uh, so that's kind of what brought me behind the desk. Uh, so, hey, um, what brings you to Dr. Davis? Are you in trouble? No, no, of course not. Um, as student council president, I'm, I meet with Davidson once um, a week just to talk about stuff. Oh, cool. Well, I hope I'll be able to help you today. So um, for our freshman viewers who are watching my experience as the principal for a moment, um, so uh, just introduce yourself a little bit. This is Olivia Lawson, and she's our class president, senior class president. That's very exciting. Uh, so she, you've been working in student government for a while then? Yes. Yes. Since middle school. I was oh. vice president in middle school at my eighth grade River Watch, and I was president my junior year and senior year. That's pretty pretty fantastic. I, you know, this is perfect that you came by because we're talking today to our freshmen about, you know, we, we've talked to them about getting involved and the importance of finding a club or an organization they can really take a part of here on campus because it really makes it better, don't you think? And so now we're really trying to get them to understand that now that they've found maybe a club that they've attended more than one meeting, you know, someone that they, somewhere they feel comfortable on campus, somewhere that they think is a good organization for them, we're trying to encourage them to, to get involved in leadership, you know, to really take on shaping that next step. Can you tell our viewers a little bit about getting involved on campus? Well, um, my freshman year, um, me and my friend saw one of those posters in the bathroom about the dryers, and it said, uh, Redefining Beautiful Club. So we're like, oh, let's go try it out. So we were a little freshmen. We were really scared because the whole club was ran by seniors. Oh, yeah. That's scary. And yeah, as a senior, <laughs> as should, a senior. you know, all right, freshmen. All right, go yes. ahead. And 
So we went and we went a couple times for the rest of the year and she continued to go. Oh cool. Which is pretty cool. But I, I um, got involved in other clubs that led me towards what I want to be in life. I joined student council, which what I did middle school and I wanted to continue it on. So I did, I was just a member, but I loved getting really involved. Mm -hmm. And so I tried and ran for president and so that helped a lot. And also, um, I really had a love for filming, which is kind of weird, but it's what I <laughs> <laughs> Everyone has, everyone's a cinematographer, right? Yeah. We all have our, our mm -hmm. smartphones. Yeah. I'm also an aspiring cinematographer, mm -hmm. you know, and not, not really. <laughs> Family video. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, um, freshman festival, I walked past the broadcasting department, and they, Mr. Smith was all out there, all excited, trying to get us all in. And so I took a flyer, and I signed up for that class that year. And it was probably the best experience of my high school um, career. I did films. I loved everyone in that class. And it's what I'm majoring in in college. How awesome. So just getting involved on campus, maybe something you weren't sure, just taking a chance, maybe that's a great way. And, and freshmen, hopefully that's a story that will inspire you to, to really take on those those scary meetings, right, with the seniors, oh, yeah. and, and, oh. and they're all pretty nice people. I mean, Olivia's a pretty nice person. <laughs> so I'm going to ask you one more question, and I, I don't want to take any more of your time, or um, but I'll, of course, take notes of anything you'd like to send to Dr. Davidson <laughs> when he returns from his meeting. Uh, so what do you think we could tell our freshmen makes a good leader? Is there any, are there skills that you think are helpful, or? Well, I actually just wrote about this at a college essay. Oh. <laughs> the, one of the most important or two most important skills, I think, is first of all, communication. Mm. You definitely have to be, if you're organizing something, you have to be the one that communicates it to the whole group. Student Council, we had to start a group me to get the information out. We have a Remind 101. And you just, you have to, especially graduation, you have to make a speech. You're going to have to, in your life, you're going to have to have conversations with people. If you move up the ladder, you're definitely going to have to have meetings and you have to be able to talk in front of people, which is very hard as a freshman. I know I was scared. I could not talk in front of anyone at all. And I've slowly, I've progressed. And so I've practice has helped yes, you. Practice. Experiences have helped. Okay, that's a good one. Communication's good. Anything else? Any other great skill you think would be helpful? Definitely um, distributing the work. Which ah. is, most leaders think that you know, I'm in charge, I'm supposed to be taking over everything, but one of the most crucial things is delegating. Delegating. Yes. yes. Delegating. I'm a horrible delegator. Mr. Mori hates me because <laughs> I'm a horrible delegator. It's true. It's so hard, though, as a leader, right, to mm -hmm. learn, I'm responsible for this, but I need to let somebody else have a chance. Mm -hmm. That's really, I have a great insight. Well, I'm so glad that you stopped by Dr. Davison's office in my uh, principal for a moment, you know, today, and I'm so excited that you had a chance to talk to our freshmen for Freshman 101. Uh, thank you so much for your time today. Freshmen, we look forward to seeing you getting involved on campus. Thank you for watching, and remember, get plugged in. Guys, we hope you come out to all the fun events this semester. Make sure that you're looking at how you can make clubs that you're involved in fun, not just for you, but for the future of Lambert High School, and have a great second semester. Oh, don't you dare look back, just keep your eyes on me I said you're holding back, she said shut up and dance with me This woman is my destiny, she said ooh, ooh Shut up and dance with me All right, left, left first, right? Left first, left first. Left first. Left first. so when do we start? Uh, yeah. I don't know. Whenever the music starts. starts. So you have like a couple seconds and then the words just start. Oh, you want me to point when you start this way? Yeah. Right. Sure. You guys just start. We're starting. <laughs> we're starting. <laughs> we're starting. We're starting. We're starting. We're starting. We're starting. Start left. Start left. Yeah. All right. Oh, you say O? You can. I'm going. I'm going. Hold on. Someone say O? Yeah. Yeah. Don't you dare look back. Keep your eyes on me. I said you're holding back. She said, shut, shut up, up and dance, and dance with me. This woman is my destiny. She says, ooh, ooh, shut up and dance with me. Freestyle. Okay, freestyle. Freestyle. Got two. Very nice. All right. Very nice.